hi guys and welcome on back to my channel and if you are new welcome on in thank you so much for being here today i hope your day is going well so i have a brand new episode here of the copperdale kids being copperdale kids and we are being lily lily is the new girl in town that's right i mean you guys met her but you guys haven't really really met Lily you know she's been around a couple of episodes here and there but you guys haven't really been formally introduced so today that is what we're going to do we are going to be Lily so here we go so let's get a full introduction so here we are it's Maribel and Lily James just moved into town Maribel, the oldest sister and caregiver for Lily, after their parents died from a fire. Maribel is a rising social media manager, hopes to one day work for a celebrity as their public relations go-to person. Lily, a very pretty girl who seems to have it all, deals with demons inside. <laughs> she wants to be a good girl, but sometimes her jealousy gets the best of her. Determined to fit in, Lily tries to get close to Sydney Price, but will jealousy ruin everything? So Maribel's description, she is definitely, you know, a serial romance. She is figuring things out and she wants to date everyone. She's in her early 20s. She's very cheerful. She's very happy. She is materialistic. She loves the finest things in life. So she is working extra hard to get those things. And then Lily, of course, she is the drama llama. This sim wants all the drama all the time. She is squeamish and she is jealous. All right, guys, so let's go in and become Lily. Guys, so here we are at the James household, at their house. Um, they live right on the edge of town in this beautiful scenery i love it it's fall time it's actually on the verge from becoming fall to winter and it's first time snowing um lily actually lives right across from the price family and the james sisters are getting ready to begin their day um so i have maribel she's about to fix some breakfast and then lily is uh just washing up getting ready for school so Lily just arrived to school and she has to gossip at least five times spread a rumor and mess around in the cuddle carts I think that is the cuddle carts at the um, at the um, ferry so she's gonna give herself a pizza roll real quick so yeah so um yeah we have to gossip we have to do these things because we're the new girl, and it's not really gossiping, right? I mean, we're just trying to get all the info that we can on everyone. And I, I mean, it's like no one tells Lily that it's anything of a secret, right? <laughs> so it's not really gossiping. She's just like passing the word around, you know? So let's see. Let's try and gossip with Savannah. And then we're going to gossip with Jeb. Because we have to do this. And then also Kevin. And everyone is still, as you can see, they are still wearing their fashion show What's clothing. Because they just Gigi. love it so much. Evo Lava. Nurture Closinex. Uh, hey Savannah. Hey Kevin. How's everything? Oh. Okay. It's all good, Lily. It's like, oh my God, the fashion show was amazing, wasn't it? It was indeed. It's like, yeah, but you know, um, I heard that Ash was pretty much upset because Molly and everyone just starts to leave. In the midst of Lily trying to get in, trying to get the gossip. But you know, she's the new girl and that's what happened. And Lily's just there thinking about what can she say to Sydney? She's seen him today. He didn't even say anything to her. So while Lily is in class, let's take a look 
at our relationship with Sydney. Let's see if there's still a crush going on. So let's open up his profile, okay? So we know everything about Sydney. Um, they're good friends, they're social buddy friends, and obviously they're neighbors because like I said, Sydney lives right across from Lily. Uh, Lily's sentiments about Sydney, he gave her friendly advice. So she's not crushing on him. Actually, it's Sydney crushing on Lily. Hmm. Sydney's crushing hard on Lily, that's what it says. And then Lily remembers when Sydney listened to her problems and shared some thoughtful advice. Well, yeah, he did because, you know, when she first arrived to school, uh, he noticed that Lily was kind of like withdrawn from the crowds and, you know, and she told him how nervous she was about being at the new school and she wants to make friends, but she doesn't want to seem too, like, overbearing. So he gave us some good advice on how to, like, get in with the in crowd and he happened to be the captain of the cheerleader and put Lily on the team. So that's how she made a lot of friends in Copperdale. Okay, so this class time is about to be over. Hi, right, Lily's making her way to the lunchroom area. You know, every time she enters a room, she feels a little nervous because she feels like maybe people are talking about her. But she's there to do her thing and gossip. Yep, she's telling Corey all about the fashion show, about the drama with Molly, Ash, and Morgan. And Corey's like, yeah, girl, see, this is why I don't go there. I don't hang out with them, because there's always some type of drama. Kevin, did you tell them about the fashion show? She's like, yeah. he's like, yeah, of course, you know, we had a great time, didn't we have a great time? Oh, yeah, oh, Jeff, I can't believe you were not in the fashion show. How come you were not invited? And Jeff is like, I don't know, actually. I think Ash got upset with me because I wanted to wear a colorful bag over my head, not what she wanted to have. Oh, I see, with this little gossiping again. Okay, so let's gossip a little bit more with Jeb and I know Lily girl you are starving I don't know why you're hungry okay so we're just gonna gossip oh, with gosh. everyone that's what we need to do we need to gossip at least five times today look at her she is, she is loving it too she just loves to gossip okay while well, Lily is at oh no extinguish yourself Call fire department. Don't die. Don't die. We don't need you to die, Maribel. Not the same way your parents died. Don't die. We don't need to. We don't need Lily to see this. Okay, well, that was rough. That was rough, Maribel. That would have been devastating if Lily would have came in and seen you on fire after the tragic death of her parents in a fire. Uh, how are they going to afford this? The fire has been put out. Just try to be a little bit more careful. Oh, you think? You think? Yeah. Definitely going to be a little bit more careful. <sighs> okay. Maribel, you can do this. How? They didn't give us money for the fire? Let me see. Because we cannot afford this. Yes, they did. Six eighty. dollars only $686? Yeah, you scared. You scared, girl. That was terrifying. Okay, let's just replace it. Replace the oven. We have to do what we have to do. Can we replace the exhaust? It's just going to be burnt. She's devastated. Replace. Oh, there's Lily. Oh my God, why does it smell like burnt fire? Like fire? Cause there was one. What? Please be careful, Lily. You know, the stove, eh, I don't know. It's just not working right, but 
They were able to replace it. I'm starving, Maribel. How come you've been eating, eating school? Oh my god! What is happening? Everyone is terrified. Now I'm scared. A rational danger? I can't replace the exhaust. I just want to eat my mac and cheese. I just want to eat my mac and cheese, Maribel. Like, I'm sorry, Lily. It's like I can't believe you had made a fire. I didn't make a fire, Lily. It's just the, the stove malfunctioned and it got caught on fire. But everything is all right. She's like, are you sure? Are you okay? Did you hurt yourself? I got a little bit of a burn, but I'll survive. Yeah, the same. Chisney, cooking the fish. Maribel, are you Can serious I... right now? You're yeah, eating my food? <laughs> I'm practically wasting away yeah. and you're eating my food. Boys boys. Okay, we Lily, you're gonna just have to make something else. Uh, just like, I'm sorry, Lily, when I get nervous, I just yeah, randomly pick up stuff yeah, and eat. Yeah. I'm gonna fix something else. I'm just gonna have a salad. That's safe, right? I mean, you can't burn a salad. That's enough. I can't believe Maribel is actually freaking eating her mac and cheese. She's eating her sister's mac and cheese. Who is the adult here? My goodness. Now everyone's terrified and scared. All right, come sit down and tell me about your day, Lily. My day? My day was just an average day. Uh, some some of the kids kind of... Uh, well, I was about to tell you something, but you just left. Like, seriously, like, every time I'm trying to, like, voice what I'm feeling, my emotions, everyone just walks away. Like, no one wants to listen to a damn thing I have to say. And Sydney ignored me all day. He didn't even say hi. I wonder if I call him, will he come over? Why? I'm so. Ah. Well, let's save the f bombs, little girl. Let's save the f bombs. Okay, let's invite Sydney over and just see what's up with him. Like, why he? Oh, he's not even available. Oh no, that's the wrong person. <laughs> Well, Maribel was going to invite one of the Pleasant sisters out. Um, because you know, she is a serial romantic. Okay, Lily has many options and she wants to invite over Sydney. Hopefully he'll come over. Oh, girl, but you better go to the bathroom first before he comes. Okay. And Maribel, why don't you invite... Since you're such a freaking scaredy cat, <laughs> maybe you need to release some of that energy. She's running. She's she's running. Okay, so she's more into, well, she sees the Pleasant Sisters equally, obviously. Now, let's just invite over Angela and see if we can get more of a relationship type of thing going on with Angela. Answer the door. Stop being scared. It's just Sydney. And Sydney is walking in pissed. No, don't you dare walk in this house pissed off. Okay. Okay, Lily, he went straight upstairs to your bedroom. No, to your office. <gasps> Excuse me, Sydney. That is her diary. That is that is Lily's journal. Put that down right now. He's like, I want to know. I heard rumors that you were saying some stuff about me. <gasps> He's writing in her journal? No. No. We are going to uh, confront him right now. Like, what is up with you? 
You just don't come in someone's house and write in their journal. And we need to have some fun because Lily has just had it up to here. Oh, hey, Cindy. Oh, how are you? It's like, I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I mean, we just had a kind of like a little small fire. But other than that, I'm okay. So it's like, I, I, I didn't get to talk to you in school today. He's like, yeah, but I'm super busy. She was like, not even in cheerleading practice. He's like, yeah, I know, but you know, we have all this training that we're doing. And uh, I was just talking to Coach, and we, he had me focusing on other things. She's like, okay, well, that's all right. She's like, I'm glad you came over. So while they are talking, she is angry. Oh, no, Lily. A baby Everyone's tense and angry from this damn fire. She is just gonna come. She's just gonna be flirting and just talking to Angela because she actually wants to go out on a date with Angela. But they have to get to know each other just a little bit better. Uh huh. Okay, Lily, where are you going? I'm gonna look at the stars. I need to concentrate. I just need to get my mind off of things. Okay, girl. You do that. You look at the stars. She's like, it's the only thing that relaxes me. It really does. It makes me feel better and it's fun. Is there a full moon tonight? Let me check the calendar. Oh. Oh, it's a new moon. New moon, full moon. I know something's going on. Something is going on. Okay, so while Lily does that, I'm going to have her try and, like, calm down and just talk to Sydney and just, they just need to chill. They just need to chill. Oh, don't make a sarcastic comment. Yeah, she's going to make a sarcastic comment because this is Lily. She is just, I guess he gave her a poor excuse of why he didn't hang out with her today in school. Um, Lily's thinking that he had other plans with another girl. Um, Fadish. It's like, how, how dare you go off and hang out with Morgan? Uh, look at me. I'm like right here in front of you. But at least she's a little bit better. Come on, girl. Get out of this mood. We need to be a little bit of, you know, romance. <laughs> Oh, we let's gossip. Out. We have to gossip with Sydney. Oh, I think well. <sighs> She's such in a the mood. These teenagers, I mean, my God. They are just like so freaking moody. I can't deal with them. Where is the uh share insecure teens? Girl. Support Sydney's acne. She's like, I know you're breaking out, but I'm here for you. Like, what? That doesn't even make sense. Why are you practicing? You just came from chair. You're overdoing it, girl. Oh, okay. There they yes, go. Oh, yes. Best friend forever. <laughs> She's like, I know, you know. Sydney, we've been going through Babe. a lot together. He's like, she's like, I support you in your acne. <laughs> Who does that? She's like, I have the perfect facial cleanser for you. <laughs> High five. Yes, we got this. You look good anyway. It doesn't even matter. She's like, but listen, let me tell you something. Earlier today, I was in class with your sister. And I think that she and Kevin got something going on. And they're trying to hide it from you. 
It's like, what? Are you kidding me? They're like brother and sister. There's no way. She's like, that's what you think? Yump, the Bokana, Quidaba. It's like, girl, please. Sure, the blue. Still need to gossip at least one more time. And we need to spread a rumor. And we need to mess around in the cuddle carts. So maybe tomorrow, Sydney and Lily will go out on a date. All right. But she is going to go right over here. And she's going to write everything down in her journal. Snooping journal? <gasps> he just totally took over her journal. Wait, he wrote something in there. I wonder what Sydney wrote. Okay, she's reading. Lenar got Oh, very clever, Sydney. He wrote... Dear Lily, if you're reading this, <laughs> Stevie. you're busted. <laughs> He's like, you are so nosy, but I love you for being nosy. <gasps> Did he say the L? So, since the fire was so very tragic, Maribel decided to take, um, well, not take the day off, but decided to work from home. And home is actually the thrift shop. So she's there just hanging out. Uh, a couple of things she has to do. She has to do mischief on five different sims. And of course curate her social media profile. Um, excuse me, is this the principal? Why is the principal dressed like that? What is happening? I'm going to drink this boba tea because no one's drinking it. Like ladies, ladies. Everyone just loves Maribel. They just love gathering around her. She's like, let me tell you the latest. She's like, Eloise, if you want more customers, you have to go on social media. Let me help you with that. Let me boost up your brand. Oh, hello, Mayor. It's like, let me introduce you to Maribel. Hi, I'm Maribel. Nice to meet you, Mayor. It's like, do you need any help getting the word out about Henford on Bag? Because I definitely can. She's like, I could post it on Facebook, Twitter. What do you want? What do you want? I could tweet it out. Tell me. <laughs> Maribel is all about business. Okay, so let's just give some fake bad news. Come on, we need two more mischiefs. <laughs> She's like, oh my gosh, I can't believe, oh, Judith is here. Well, and she's taking out the trash. Are you taking out yourself, Judith? Are you taking out yourself? <laughs> Judith Ward, this is what she has come to. I can totally be your public relations. I can get the word out, Judith, that it's not over for you. You still have a blooming career. Darling. I may take you up on that. Do you have a business card? <laughs> okay. Come on. She's like, darling. Look at my backside. So Lily came home at the school and cheerleading practice, and Maribel obviously is back home as well. But Kevin came over, and which is strange for Kevin to just randomly come over. She's like, oh, Kevin. Hey, you know, I was talking to Sydney the other day, and he was telling me that you and Savannah are pretty close. We know that Lily told Sydney that she heard that Savannah and Kevin were pretty close. So, but we need to spread this nasty rumor. And Kevin's like, girl, you couldn't be more off. You are totally wrong. So, okay. So, she spread that rumor. She's spreading that rumor about Kevin and Savannah hooking up. Okay. And we need to gossip. We're about to gossip. Yeah, we're trying to gossip with him. You know? 
She's like, Kevin, why did you come over? He's like, no, well, you know, I seen you were a little bit down in, 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 in class today, so I wanted to come and just just hang out and cheer you up. He's, he's like, I know what it is to be the new guy in school. I mean, after all, I am a foreign exchange student, so. She's like, oh, Kevin, you're so sweet. Thank you so much. Just giving him that side eye. Like, mm. She's like, you just want to come over and do something. Something else. No one's that nice. And Maribel's like, yeah, Kevin came, you know, while he was in a cheerleading class. And, you know, I let him in. And, oh, he's such a nice guy. And Maribel's giving Lily the eye, like, you know, be nice, be nice. Like, yeah, of course. She's like, so, Kevin, are you going to be taking Savannah to the prom? He's like, um, I don't know, actually. But if we do decide to go to prom, we're just going to go as friends, just like we did at homecoming. She's like, I, I just want Sydney to ask me so badly. He's like, I can't imagine going to prom with anyone else besides Sydney. Kevin's like, well, I don't know. I mean, he does have prospects. <laughs> he does have other options. She's like, really? That's not nice. But anyway, they got the gossip done. So the last thing that Lily has to do today, she's so pissed at Kevin. She's like, how dare he come over here? How dare he come over here and tell me? So as Lily was yelling and just cursing up a storm, Maribel came back. Was like, girl, you need to calm down. She's like, why are you so upset? Well, I'm upset because Kevin came over here purposely to tell me that Sydney is thinking about asking other girls to the prom. Sydney should not be your only focus. She's like, but Sydney's the only guy in town that is decent enough. <laughs> She's so upset that Kevin came and said that. Well, that's because she was starting with him. She was basically, she spread a rumor about him and Savannah. And she thought, what did she think that Kevin thought was that that was going to be cool? She's like, I'm going to play my game. I'm going to get my mind off of things. Okay, so Sydney has come over. And he's really upset because... Kevin told him what Lily did. And it's like, yo, me and you are definitely a no. Oh my God, Lily. He's like, I heard what you did. I heard you spreading this nasty rumor about Kevin and my sister. And that is just not cool. That is not cool, Lily. It's like, I'm so sorry. She's like, he, Kevin got me so upset that I just had to do it. Come on. Sydney, she's like, I know you care about me. He's like, no. Can you apologize? Smooth recovery? Girl, you gotta go on the cuddle cart with somebody. He's like, Lily, I don't know if... If... If you're a pop, if I can ever accept your apology because it's just like too much. She's like, but I thought we had a good thing going. Well, sure. She's just gonna keep going. She's just gonna keep going until he just. Until he just accepts her. Okay, see, you see? You should She's like, can you ever forgive me, Sydney? I didn't mean to. She was like, but you know, I got the I heard it from Wolfgang. And Wolfgang's the one who told me. And then I even talked to Savannah about it. And she didn't deny it. He's like, okay, I can see where things went wrong, but you know, next time. You can't be doing things like that. She's like... Yes, an arm. Oh, it's a rose for you. It's like, oh, okay. 
All right, Lily, I forgive oh, you. Oh, oh, I you. sucker. <laughs> She worked her magic, guys. Lily worked her magic. Maribel was like, it's getting kind of late, guys. She's like, I'm, I'm going to need you, Lily, to wrap things up. She's like, okay, okay. <laughs> Lily's like, oh, I just love being here with you. You're so kind. You're the best thing that ever happened to me here in Copperdale. She's like, well... And he's yeah, like, sure. hey, Lily, mm -hmm. I know how it is. He's like, I don't know. You got my heart. You got my heart. Okay, let's see. Can you be my boyfriend? Really, at this point, are we just going to, oh, girl, are we going to exchange numbers? She's like, I can't help it, Sydney. You just do something to me. Like Sydney, I declare my love to you. <laughs> wow, we that sim is irresistible. Well, Lily has a yeah, major well, crush on I'll Sydney. See. Oh, now she has a major crush on him after okay, all so this we'll time. Oh, Sydney is calling. Yes, Sydney. Hey, Lily, it's me, Sydney. Do you want to go out on a date? Yes, but I want to go out on my terms. <laughs> I don't want to go to the shrieking llama bar. I wanted to go out to a nice restaurant and have like a double date with my sister. <laughs> no, you cannot control me. Okay, I finally got it together. Everyone's here. They're on a double date. Um, so, and, and this restaurant right here, it's a nice little cute little restaurant. This is made by Peach Empire. You guys can find that on the gallery. But, um, okay, so we have Maribel and Angela, and then we have Sydney and Lily. What are you embarrassed about? What's happening? Crush nearby. Of course he's nearby. You brought him here. Oh, my gosh. Can we just get along? Can we all just get along? All right, can we get a table? All right. Hi, table for four, please. Lily, you look so cute, too. You actually look adorable. Angela, on the other hand, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, sis is going to the bathroom. I thought she was going to the bathroom. Maribel is such a cool sim. Look at her. She's like, Lily, did you get the table? What's going on? All right, guys, come on. Follow me. Follow Maribel, everyone. No, she's in charge. Why are they following you to the restroom? No, we want a table. It's almost as if someone is controlling her life. Yes, we know. Okay, come sit down. Everyone, no. Hi, everyone sit down. Where are you guys going? Why do y'all keep, what's happening? She wants to talk to Angela. She's like, listen, and no way on this date. But I promised my little sister that I would help chaperone her on her date with her guy. So I hope you don't mind, Angela. She's like, uh, I don't mind. I mean, the more the merrier, right? Okay. So I am going to quickly order for everyone at the table. Okay, so food is ordered and we are waiting. I have no idea where Maribel is at, but Angela seems to be enjoying herself, um, talking to Sydney, talking about their different towns, you know, because uh, she's from Winchester, I believe. Yeah. I don't know where Maribel went. She's at the bar. She needs a drink. She needs a drink. Pronto. <laughs> um, so Angela's just giving him the scoop on that area. And Lily's like, um, you know, she's enjoying the conversation. She knows that there's no competition between her and Angela. <laughs> this is how Lily thinks. You know, she thinks every, every female that comes into the picture is like her competition. But she knows that Angela's not her competition. That's all because of that 
jealousy trait that she has. Finally, Maribel has now joined us. She brought over a nice glass of wine for Angela. She's just like, you know, I know we're just starting to get, you know, we're starting to get to know each other, but I, I thought this glass of wine would help. Angela, why are you standing up? Okay, sit down, girl. So they're all just enjoying themselves, which is really, really good. Okay, so let me get some conversation going. Uh, poor Lily is super hungry and she is starving. But, you know, we have to go to those cuddle carts. Eventually, when we get our meal. Sit down, Lily. We will get our food. Let's see what she said. Yes. That our food? Damn, waiter. How dare you drop our food? Oh, my goodness. Okay, Lily. Have a seat, girl. Sit and chat, please. I know everyone is starving. They just keep serving us drinks, no food. She's like, Maribel, where's Maribel? Where's Maribel? Where did Maribel go? Maribel is too... <laughs> She's in the kitchen. <laughs> She's like, where's my damn food? She's in the kitchen. She's like, where's my food? <laughs> I can't. <laughs> She's like, where's my food? I can't. <laughs> okay, there's your food. Everybody eat. Yes, cheers to a lovely plate of food and good company. Okay, so we're all going to, and I love how everyone walks in the line. We're all going to the carnival. And we'll meet up with Sydney there. And then... And then we're gonna go on these damn cuddle carts so that we can complete our aspiration or at least some of the aspiration when it comes to Lily's drama llama. Romantic ride with Sydney's not even an option, so we're picking no, no, Ash. But no bay. Can we go? Yeah, hey no. Ash! I wanted to know if you wanted to go on the cuddle cart ride with me. She's like, uh, really? Uh, I don't know. I mean, why can't we get on the cuddle carts again? This is unbelievable. Okay, let's just flirt with her and see what happens. Hopefully, Sydney doesn't, um... Doesn't get upset with Lily. Okay, Sydney's right there. <laughs> oh, oh, Sydney, 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 Sydney. Can we go on the cuddle carts together? Um, can you be my boyfriend? <gasps> first kiss. Okay, let's do that. Maybe we get a first kiss. Then maybe he'll go on the cuddle carts with me. Yay! It's like, wow, where did that come from? Out of nowhere. Ash, don't look sad over there because you just, you turned Lily down. So she's moving on. Okay, so let's ask to be boyfriends. Um, come on, we gotta get something going. Okay. Um, yes, yes, he's doing it. Yes, we're going on the cuddle cards. And yes. Hopefully we get this checked off. Okay, guys. Yes. Fireworks are blossoming. Why is it not checked off? Will it be checked off once we get out? Yay! We did it, guys. Milestone complete. Yes. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I had a blast with being Lily and being her sister, Maribel. They are so cute. It was so much fun trying to complete the first part of the Drama Llama Aspiration. So the next thing I have to do, if I ever play with Lily again, is 
be mean on social bunny at least five times which is something that Lily can do because she does it so well <laughs> and they break up with a sim oh no so we're gonna have to obviously make Sydney our boyfriend and then break up with him all before graduation because graduation is going to be the next episode and it's going to be the end of my Copperdale series so all right guys thank you so much and if you are new and you like what you see and you want more press that bell because hitting that bell will let you know whenever I upload any new content and of course please hit the subscribe button Thank you so much. I am Samavella and I am signing out. Bye guys. Bye. Oh, 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 are you dreaming of, of me now?